बीप केयर वेलकम टू इंस्ट्रक्शनल वीडियोज ऑन द इंटेग्रेटिव मेडिसिन ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल फॉर ट्रीटिंग लिम्फेटिक फिलेरियासिस दिस यूनिक ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल इज डेवलप्ड बाई डॉक्टर एस आर नरहरी एंड कोलेबोरेटर्स एट द इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अप्लाइड डेमोटोलॉजी दिस वीडियो टेक्स यू थ्रू द सेवन बैक्टीरियल एंट्री पॉइंट्स थ्रू विच बैक्टीरिया एंटर द बॉडी ऑफ अ पेशेंट एंड कॉज फीवर so taking good care of these entry points is extremely important in the treatment protocol this process is called the beep care that is caring for the bacterial entry points as mentioned earlier there are seven bacterial entry points they are 1 intertrigo 2 eczema 3 excoriation or wound 4 foot fissures 5 folliculitis 6 paronychia and 7 dental caries now pay attention to caring for each of these entry points first is intertrigo intertrigo is a whitish discoloration in between the skin folds of your limb and in between your toes apply the herbal dusting powder prescribed by the doctor after proper drying of these areas application of this herbal powder will speed up the healing process to prevent intertrigo patients should keep interdigital spaces of the foot and folds dry and clean now we come to eczema eczema is a skin condition where the skin becomes inflamed hyperpigmented and have itchy patches which might sometimes ooze and flare up eczema can recur at times so it has to be managed to manage eczema apply the prescribed ointment as recommended by your doctor for severe eczema apply the prescribed ointment in thick layers over the eczematous area and use a thin plastic to cover the limb Also give mild compression for 25 to 30 minutes. Covering the limb allows the ointment to get absorbed faster. Remove the plastic cover after 25 to 30 minutes. For mild eczema apply the same ointment twice a day. This process will help to heal the eczema. Now we come to the third entry point excoriation or wound. If there are cuts and wounds in the limb, wash the limb properly with soap and water and dry them with soft cotton cloth as explained in the limb wash video. Excoriations can be managed with topical antibiotic. Start a course of antibiotic as prescribed. Chronic wounds are managed with ayurvedic oil and specialized dressings. The fourth entry point is foot fissure. Foot fissure is a common condition among filarial patients. Wear well-fitting footwear to prevent fissures in the foot. Keep yourself adequately hydrated. Apply the emollients prescribed by your doctor to keep the feet moisturized. This will prevent foot fissures. Now we come to the fifth bacterial entry point folliculitis. In folliculitis the patient will have inflammation in the hair follicles. It appears as pimple like eruptions. To prevent this do hair pairing with a hair trimmer periodically. The doctor will prescribe a course of antibiotics to manage folliculitis. Now we come to the sixth bacterial entry point Paronychia Paronychia is an infection around the nail bed. Use a proper nail cutter to trim the nails. Due to filariasis, the nail may get thickened. Do not cut it with knife, blade or any such sharp objects. It may injure the skin. You can use a soft brush to clean the nails. Now we come to the seventh and last bacterial entry point dental caries. When it comes to dental caries 
consult a dentist and take the required treatment such as root canal and dental filling. This completes the beep care process. In addition, your doctor may prescribe Ayurvedic medicines which you are expected to take for at least three months for better improvement. All these instructional videos are exclusively prepared by the Institute of Applied Dermatology for the benefit of patients, their attendants and health workers. So keep watching them repeatedly till you completely understand each of the procedures.